Hello, good evening everyone. I wanted to do another little video on uh, musky health in uh, New River uh, in Virginia. Uh, as you know, I did a video <clears throat> the other day on this and I reported that uh, the musky in New River are actually uh, a little bit lighter than uh, the musky uh, reported in Musky America. And uh, so what I, I did, uh, like uh, three size limits uh, or three uh, lengths in, uh, <clears throat> from the data that I got off the uh, Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries website. And uh, I, uh, uh, I compared that with the Muskie America data and uh, found out that uh, Fish in New River were all somewhat lighter than the data reported in Muskie America. So I figured I'd do a little bit more work on that and, and get back to you folks and uh, let you know what I found out. This is a, a fish that was caught uh, early this year uh, in New River. And it's on the website of Tangent Outfitters in Pembroke, Virginia. And uh, this is a, a real nice muskie. Uh, and uh, certainly it does not look skinny by any means. Um, so it looks like a nice healthy fish. So um, I'm going to go on down through here and show you the data uh, that I got. Uh, let me run forward here a little bit. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a chart earlier that I did. Uh, and I did this not only for New River, but I also did this for the James River also. And it shows basically that the muskie in, in both bodies of water, the James River and the New River, are actually increasing. And the smallmouth bass, which is in blue here, is actually decreasing. Uh, and this is from the years uh, 2000 to uh, 2017. And this is based on the uh, uh, data uh, in the uh, Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries website, the Citation uh, Fish Reports, uh, the data uh, directly out of those reports is what I have graphed here uh, for smallmouth bass and, and muskie. This is for New River. But I also did one for the James River and I found both uh, in both situations. Uh, musky numbers are, are increasing, or citations are increasing in, in both bodies of water for musky, but they're decreasing for the uh, uh, smallmouth bass. And I sort of attributed that to the fact that uh, the uh, musky is a, is a supreme predator, much a larger fish than the smallmouth bass, and is uh, predating on the bait fish that the uh, smallmouth bass are also uh, predating on, and uh, as a result, uh, you got a decrease in the uh, in the number of, of smallmouth bass uh, as com and the muskies are increasing. And this is typical throughout the wild. I mean, if wolves come in, uh, the coyotes uh, uh, take off, and and if the coyotes come in, the the foxes uh, take off. I mean. Uh, Predators uh, tend to displace other predators. So let me go back up here to the top of the data again. And once again, there's that fish that was caught early this year by Tangent Outfitters. It looks like a nice, healthy muskie in New River. Uh, this is the data from the uh, uh, Muskie America. It's on their website. Uh, 763 catches over 10 years. And the uh, Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries website was over 18 years. So I actually got a lot of data. As a matter of fact, in New River, I think there was 1,180 uh, musky citations out of New River over, the, over that period. I've got that later on here in the, uh, in the data. This gives you the, the musky uh, America data for the, you take a, a length here of 41 inches, you go down through here. There was four caught at uh, 15 pounds, three caught at 16 pounds, uh, 14 caught at 17 pounds, uh, 22 caught at 18 pounds, and so forth. 
so you can take and uh, uh, put all, write all that down, total it all up, and get an average. And this is a continuation of that data. Uh, the lengths uh, that I did was between uh, 40 and 45 uh, because there's a lot of, of data uh, for between 40 and 45. Uh, once you get over 45, I mean, you're getting into really big fish and you don't have uh, that much data for, for fishes. Uh, if you notice up in here, you're, you're getting up the 50 inch fish and so forth. There's not much data up in there to compare. And uh, the citations for the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, they only start at, uh, at 40 inches. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I had to limit my uh, analysis to fish between 40 and 45 inches. Um, I could have possibly have done like uh, 46. There's a little bit of data there. Uh, but anyway, I just did 40 to 45 inches. The other day in, in the one uh, video that I did, I only had these three lengths done out. And if you'll notice there, uh, uh, New River for 40 inches, 16.17 for the Muskie America data. It's uh, 16.85 is the average. Now the Muskie Ameri uh, America data had 80 catches and the uh, New River data had 80 uh, points also. That's 80 citation reports where they had the length and also the weight reported. And for 43 inches, 18.52 pounds for New River, uh, which is 35 citations. Uh, and the Muskie America had 39 data points and was 21.10. So that's, that's what I reported um, the other day in, in my video that I did. So what I did is I did some more research and I figured that I would go ahead and, and report that to you folks. Uh, here's the data for 41 inches and the data for 42 inches and the data for 44 inches. Now, what I did, and also this is the number of uh, uh, citation reports for New River and the number of catches there in, uh, that was reported in, in Muskie, America. Now, what I did is, is I wrote these down and, and I went through all of them. In, in the New River uh, data, all the uh, weights are lower uh, than what's reported in Muskie, America. Now, uh, the weights run uh, from anywhere from 4% up to, uh, well, 4.2% up to 13.9% less. So uh, the fish are weighing on average about, uh, oh, 10% uh, uh, I got 4.2%, 6.9%, 7.9%, 13.9%, 11.9%, .9 and 9.3%. So on average, the fish are about 10% uh, lighter. Um, and they run uh, anywhere from a half a pound up to two and a half pounds lighter than the, than the average uh, for the musky America uh, fish. So the, the fish in the river are a little bit on the light side, possibly due to the predation of uh, the big muskies. And all the big muskies are being pretty much released back into the river. Uh, the, there's a lot of, uh, of fishing uh, uh, guides that work the uh, river and take people out to fish for small mouse and, and muskie. And uh, that's pretty much 100% catch and release. So a large part of the fish uh, that are uh, being uh, caught, large part of the muskies that are being caught are released back into the, into the water. And of course, uh, you can only keep one a day over 40 inches. So, uh, and like I say, a lot of the muskies that are being caught are just released right back into the river. You can take a look here at the, the bodies of water in, in uh, 
Virginia that have muskies in them. You can sit, take a look there and see how many uh, citations that were reported there for New River, uh, 1,068. That's for the years uh, 2000 to 2017, which is on Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries website. So uh, most of the muskies in, in Virginia waters are in in New River, 65% of the citations were reported out of New River. Uh, in the James River, there's quite a few muskies also. Uh, 320 citations were reported. And that was for the years, uh, like I say, uh, 2000 to 2017. So here's once again that data that I showed you showing the smallmouth bass uh, citations uh, decreasing over that period of time and the musky uh, citations increasing and uh, so anyway that's what the data is now this is a a table here this is also from musky america it talks about the length of a musky and the uh, build of the musky and what it should weigh now um, all of the data pretty much in the Muskie America and also the Virginia uh, data, they were all pretty much in this range here in the average build range. Uh, so uh, there's a variation there. It looks like the compared to the uh, Muskie America data, the, the fish in New River are a little bit on the light side, but uh, still yet they look uh, like uh, based on the pictures that I've seen of recent catches and so forth. They look like they're real, still pretty healthy fish. Uh, it does look like, however, the muskies are uh, uh, predating a lot on the bait fish, and that's having a, an effect on the smallmouth fishery. But still yet, uh, at this point in time, there's uh, lots of uh, muskies in, in New River and there are also lots of smallmouth in New River, lots of big muskies and lots of big smallmouth in New River. <clears throat> you know, muskies can supposedly get up to uh, uh, 70, 70 inches, uh, even bigger than that. Uh, to catch one above 50 inches is really rare, uh, but there have been in the data uh, that I've looked at, there have been some catches in New River that's been over 50 inches. Uh, is there a possibility of a world record coming out of New River for the muskie? Perhaps it could could happen. Uh, there have been some fish in New River caught over 50 inches, some, some really, really big muskies, uh, but it's really rare to catch one that big. But uh, they definitely get that big, and I've heard of people catching monsters in New River. So anyway, this is who I am here, and if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe. I, I enjoy bringing you folks these videos, and uh, if I get uh, uh, people that like the videos and enough subscriptions and so forth, I'll continue bringing this uh, these videos to you. do a lot of hunting and fishing videos and a lot of outdoor stuff, so... If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks a lot, and you folks have a nice day.